know you've seen that TikTok trend. <gasps> what if I was hired by an artist to make an album cover? What would it look like? I'm going to be making an album cover for an artist named Tyla. She is a South African born and raised artist. She's known for her hit song Water, and she was recently nominated and won her first Grammy Award. Now that we know a little bit more about Tyla, let the magic begin. I'm starting to lose a bit of inspiration. So let's go online and see what her aesthetic is like, what she likes, and what her style is. And let's see what we can find. By looking online, I was able to gather what her aesthetic looks like. And it's pretty classy, nothing too flashy. So I think I know what I want to do now. The hardest part is trying to add something that's going to make it interesting without completely ruining it. So I'm trying to add some glow, but I can't really get it. On a scale from 1 to 10, I would say that it's 50-50. It's 5 out of 10 because I know what I want to do for her, but it's hard to know what to do for her for Tyla because there's not really much information about her. I'm moving on to Procreate now. I'm going to be adding the final major details on Procreate. <laughs> Moving on to Procreate, I drew some white drips dripping from her face and I just added a bit of shadowing to that and that was all really. So in Canva, I started out with adding her supposed favorite color, which was yellow. I added the South African map. I added Tyla herself. I added a crown because she was in that pose. I added her name and her birth year. Um, I also added some glowing butterflies and a flower dress. Moving on to Pixar, I added an effect over it, a grainy effect. I uh, smoothed out her skin and I added detailing in her eyes and her nose and her mouth and the crown. Enjoy the final result. So this is the album cover I made for Tyla. Let me know in the comments what you would rate it out of 10. Let me know which artist you would like me to do next. All right, goodbye. See you. Bye.